DJ here, DREC Construction Services at our project in Garden Grove. Uh, I am here today waiting on the inspector. Uh, we are gonna get our footings, rebar, and the underground plumbing inspected today. So he's gonna be looking for the depth of our footings, which are 24 by 18. He's gonna be looking at our rebar and the layout of the rebar the Dolby's, which we talked about before, that's those little blocks of concrete underneath there to hold the rebar up off the vapor barrier. So remember I spoke about the vapor barrier in the past, the vapor barriers to prevent water, groundwater in California, hmm, coming up through and into your ADU. Uh, we also have the gravel below the vapor barrier. That's for earthquake. And then over here in our plumbing, what we have to do is this is all our drain lines that are gonna be going to the sewer. So those have to be underneath the slab. And hang on a second here. You can see our drain lines. Uh, what the white foam does is it protects it. Well, it doesn't really protect it. What it does is it goes around the PVC pipe that, um, so when the concrete goes in, it's not going up against it. So once the concrete's poured and dried, there's some flexibility. Also, what the inspector wants to see is, if you notice, there's caps on every top of the through. So we have to, if you can hear it, this pipe is full of water. So the inspector can see that this is a sealed environment and it's not going to leak under the slab. Um, part of our last inspection, which we failed and not because of our work, was we had to there was an electrical line that went across where the adu was going to go so we had to relocate the power line over to a temporary power pole and back across so it doesn't go across the adu when we build it so this part of the process i hope i answered any questions you guys may have about the process of building the adus please hit like and subscribe and remember your subscribers at the end of the month all your new subscribers, we're going to pull a name from the hat and send you a $250 Home Depot card. So please hit like and subscribe. Please reach out with any questions via DM or uh, phone call, and we'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. Thank you for listening to us. Have a nice day.